How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win and in this episode of Black Ops 2 I'm going to be showing you guys the best rushing tips that I know in the game so far. Now this works on generally every map and generally with every setup whether you're using a submachine gun, assault rifle, shotgun but the main gist of it will be in this video and I encourage you to uh, you know leave some video responses or comments saying how the setup worked for you and uh, always leave a like if you uh, you appreciate the video. Anyways we are playing on the map Plaza and uh, Plaza is essentially broken down into three zones. So we've got this dubstep room behind me, which is essentially the bar that plays um, some really wacky dubstep music. And I love going in that room for some reason. And the dubstep room essentially connects the back of the map to each other. It's this little walkway that you can walk through and you can use that to avoid going through the center of the map. Near each flag, there is a building, a building that you can go on top of and a building that you can go underneath and through. And then where the B flag is, there is a central building and two courtyards on either side. Uh, I wish I could explain that a little better. Those are just my call outs that I really know. That's one of the buildings that he's walking into right now and you can see the courtyard uh, where he just came from. Anyways, talking about the class I want to use, which is also very important. So some machine guns are very good in this game. That's very apparent and utilizing them is a is a very big advantage. So what I'm using today is I'm using perk three greed and I'm also using uh, I'm also using the primary gunfighter, giving me three attachments on my, uh, giving me three attachments basically on my submachine gun. So what I've chosen to do is use the laser sight, the silencer, and then either the foregrip or the stock, which gives me a little bit more uh, accuracy. So that's what I'm using. Uh, I don't have a secondary weapon, but I'm using dexterity, sl uh, dexterity, extreme conditioning, uh, scavenger, and lightweight. So again, a very good rushing class, and I'm going to break that down for you right now. So with perk three greed and the primary gunfighter that takes up two out of your 10 points then you put three attachments on your gun which is five out of 10 points the gun takes up another point which is six out of 10 and then you basically roll with your perks from there you can just choose your perks and uh, you're good and you know what that allows you to do is just be a rushing machine and a super fast um, little guy that just runs around the map with perk three greed which I've explained and uh, videos in the past you know you can use extreme conditioning and then a perk like dead silence if you wish or dexterity which I think works the best with submachine guns dead silence might be a little better for a game type like search and destroy or free for all or when you're playing by yourself and you're really focused on you know getting those footsteps and uh, locating where the enemies are uh, but for this case, dexterity is definitely the best because you're going to be sprinting around a lot. And what dexterity allows you to do is, uh, you know, aim, like, basically pull up your gun again after you're done sprinting. And it allows you to mantle over objects quicker. Now, you saw earlier in the game, I was mantling, like, up onto the top of one of those buildings. And some guy actually saw me. But because I had dex dexterity, I was able to, like, you know kind of catch him by surprise and really grab him. And uh, even though he had the advantage on me, I ended up winning that gunfight, which was nice. And so all those things just lead to you getting a better score and uh, talking about the second perk now. So the second perk I have is Scavenger and Scavenger is nice because you're using a submachine gun. You're going to be doing a little bit of spray and pray and with Scavenger you can replenish your lethal grenades and your uh, tactical grenades. So in this case I'm using the shock charge which I, I know is very overpowered but if you place them in the right area they're very effective which is why I use them and um, that is why I tend to use the shock charge. But anyway Scavenger get you more ammo, get you more uh, tactical grenades, and get you more lethal grenades. So it's an all-around win-win situation because you're not going to run out of ammo. And if you're rushing around, you, you can't really afford to be stuck without a gun. So especially since I'm not using a secondary, Scavenger is very, very vital in this situation. And then Lightweight is essentially very self-explanatory. If you're using Lightweight, uh, you know, you're just going to be running around the map and you want to get to locations faster. That's what happened in the very beginning of the game. Uh, you know, when I uh, when I first ran through the dubstep room, which I'll call it, uh, there was actually a guy there and I threw a lightning ch uh, or a shock charge on the ground, which caused him to pause and he didn't chase after me. So because I got there first, I had the advantage on him and he wasn't able to kill me. Better starting off a game 1-0 than 0-1. Always nice to get off on the right foot. And the last thing I can say, the kill streaks. This kill streak combination is very lethal. You know, you don't have any UAVs or Blackbirds, but if you can rely on some of your teammates maybe getting UAVs for you, you're set. So it's the Hellstorm missile, the lightning strike. The Hellstorm missile and the lightning strike combined will probably get you anywhere from four to five kills. And then the AGR, which is essentially what I call the Wally. Um, it is a automated robot that you can either control or let around go by yourself. I usually choose to let it go around by itself because it's usually more effective and that way it gets more kills. 
Anyways, guys, this video is wrapping up. Uh, you know, this was a domination match that I was playing with a few of my friends, and we actually did pretty well in this. You know, we handed them like 200 to like 112. But anyways, guys, this video is coming to a close. If you have liked the video, please subscribe and like. Uh, you know, I'm going to be posting plenty more Black Ops 2 tutorials as the year goes on. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day, and I will talk to you later.